I realized I wanted to pursue acting when I was completely dead broke, top ramen style, and I didn't have any uh, major. I didn't have a major. I was in college. I was in my third year of school. I bounced around to a bunch of different majors, and I was actually having a barbecue, and there were some people who told me, man, you should think about being an actor. And it wasn't the first time that people had told me that. And so I went and I talked to a teacher, and he hooked me up with an audition, and then shortly after that, I started doing plays uh, with the school, and I got to do a movie, and the ball just started rolling and snowballing, and I caught the acting bug, and I just love it. I love performing. Hollywood wasn't, you know, a big part of the backdrop. If I saw a movie star, I'd have lost my mind just like everybody else. So it was all new to me. I was into sports and school and stuff. My first like, paid gig was I did the musical Hair at the City Lights Theater in downtown San Jose. I got paid $75 to do the show for a whole summer. It was crazy. But it was great because I was around artistic people and we did the play and it was just so much fun stuff to do. Fantastic. There's this weird misconception about Los Angeles that everybody's involved in the entertainment industry and it's really a really small box that does the entertainment industry. The first time that I really felt like, wow, this thing is powerful is I was in uh, Manhattan and the movie 8 Mile had come out and I walked around someplace at restaurant and it was just like... Everybody it was, it was the strangest thing in the world. People taking pictures and signing autographs. I was like, why, you want my autograph for what? It was, it was the craziest thing. And then it, worldwide, it's crazy. It's just like the more places you go and people still recognize you, it's like, wow, film is a powerful medium. Something that you can really take advantage of to tell stories and to change people's lives, you know? Every time you get a job, you feel like you hit the big time because I'm 6'6", I'm more than 300 pounds. So exactly what they want to do in Hollywood is stereotype you. They want to put you in the box. They want to say, oh, okay, he's the bouncer. He's the cop. He's the this. He's the best friend. He's this. He's that. And for me, it's just constantly about growth. I mean, I, I express myself through cinema and performance, so I really, it's important for me to get to stretch my legs and do other things. And this film that I'm doing now here is uh, The Express, and it's it, I get to play a character that's faced with racial inequality and tensions and just unfair treatment and it's 1959. They're shooting the Express now, but we just got done with post-production with Gordon Glass. We shot Gordon Glass in Los Angeles, various locations all throughout Los Angeles over about a five week period. That was, that was last July, we just got finished in early, early April, and literally the next day, the day after I got done with my sound mix, I had to pack up and catch a plane to come to Chicago to start filming The Express. Gordon Glass is a lot of fun. That's the best synopsis. It's a, uh, it's a story about a dreamer. It's a story about a guy who makes a promise to his grandmother that he'll never quit. And she dies and he continues on to that promise and it drives him to become an actor. And in the process, he actually touches a lot of people's lives. And the film becomes less about acting and performance and, and trying to make it, so to say, and more about the effect that we have on each other as people. I just want your number, all right? I don't give my number out here for obvious reasons. A lot of it is uh, derived from experiences that I've had, from just like, you know, stuff that I've done that, that whether it's a commercial audition or the feeling of rejection or the confusion on what to do to try to make it in Hollywood that everybody goes through. You know, it, it, there's some stuff I definitely took from my real life, but primarily it's a fictional story. Uh, I'm Gordon Glass. It's not as organized as it could be just based on a lack of finance. So you have to really be able to trust people because with a lack of finance, you have to be on the ball as much as possible. There is a minimal amount of mistakes allowed because you can't just pay someone to clean it up because you don't have that money. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was like one of those life-changing, amazing race kind of experiences where 
Things are constantly going wrong and you constantly have to put a bandage on the wound. You constantly have to find ways to MacGyver things and make them work. You constantly have to find more money, more creativity. Things that worked on the page didn't work on camera. It's just constant adjustments and it's great because it's a challenge and it's a, it's a real challenge. Like it's a real life challenge. It's a challenge as a performer. It's just a challenge across the board. So you really, you have to be prepared and, and you can't be prepared because you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what the challenge is gonna be. But you have to do your best, and that's what we did. We did our best, and I'm happy with the product, the finished product. We've submitted it to a couple film festivals, and we're waiting to hear back from them. And we've submitted it to a couple companies that are looking for uh, films to distribute, most of the major studios. And I'm going to call in a lot of favors from the, the producers and uh, people that I've worked with in Hollywood already. And what I'm planning to do is, um, once I get back home from shooting this film, I'm going to go full steam ahead with making every call that I can setting up meetings, setting up screenings so people can watch the film. And they can watch the film with other people and see how the response goes, at which point they'll definitely want to purchase the film and distribute the film. Well, you have to be relentless. You have to be relentless because every door is going to close on you. Don't expect much help. That's why you have to surround yourself with a team of people that you really trust and just full steam ahead. Yeah, oh, no question. I'm an optimist. I think things are going to be great. The movie's going to be a success. People are going to like it once we see it. Once we sell Gordon Glass and once we get it distributed, then we're going to move into the next film, which is a thriller. It's more of a romance thriller. You can achieve your goals. You can achieve your dreams. You have to believe in yourself and you can achieve your dreams.